Detective Bad, would you please read this contest leaflet already? We've been standing here forever. Why won't you read this? If you read this, you would know everything you need to know right now. Welcome back, everybody! Detective Bad is not reading things. He's being very stubborn. He's making us lose. He probably shouldn't be making us lose. Why is he making us lose? I don't want to read it. It's very bad for my brain. Any any decorations not made from desserts are prohibited, huh? Those rock salt lamps and the fluorescent claws. <laughs> Excuse me. Go against the rules. Delicia broke the oh, wait, no no no. Delicia broke the rules. Delicia used other objects besides desserts for her decorations. How could she? Why would she do that? So maybe that's why they were hidden in the castle. I wonder about that. I think we should investigate further into Delicia's actions. So, we're done now, right? Or are we? Wait. Uh, Delicia broke the rules. Delicia used other objects besides desserts for decorations. Is made fake desserts. What are her true intentions? Uh. Well, I mean. <laughs> oh, please don't. Yay! Woohoo! Using decorations that were against the rules and making fake desserts. A lot of Delicia's actions seem suspicious. Yeah, it doesn't seem like she's aiming to be the world's greatest pastry chef. Also, the temperature of this room is way too high. Is there a reason for that? Fake desserts add to the court's record. Delicia made fake desserts by covering plastic molds with fresh cream. I wonder. I think we should ask Delicia directly. Heck with that, I'm out of here. I don't want to talk to her. Eh, I'm going to hide behind this castle. She'll never find me back here. What the heck are you doing, attorney? Uh, nothing, nothing. I'm going to go talk to her, of course. That's what I'm going to do. I want to talk to you about a thing real quick. Specifically, the fake desserts. Oh, yeah. What? You got to be living <clears throat> Delicia, why is the room temperature set to 68 degrees Fahrenheit? What cold doesn't agree with me? Blush is bad for the body! This figure doesn't just make change stuff, you know! Naturally, this lady, I want to look young forever! I wonder. How old Miss Delicia really is? Delicious. Raymond, a true gentleman never ask a woman for her age. Oh, who cares? This room is mainly filled with cream. And 50 degrees Fahrenheit is the recommended temperature for preserving fresh cream. What? Really? That was so kind of waste! It looks like Miss Delicious didn't know. Knowledge was lacking. Delicia seems lacking in the basic knowledge of dessert making. That's really unfortunate. Hm, I thought she was supposed to be a first class pastry chef. Fake desserts and the rule violations, and now, her lack of basic knowledge. Looks like she keeps many secrets. Well, maybe she's not... Oh, wait, now what? <laughs> oh, okay, I see, I see. We're doing this now, I gotcha. Yeah! Delicia's knowledge in the art of dessert making is lacking in fundamental areas. And she claimed she was into Ma Mr. Master's room in order to study his desserts. These actions and ideas are not fitting of someone aiming to be wor the world's greatest pastry chef. Yeah, they don't sound like the words of a pro. It's like she doesn't even realize it all. Or maybe she isn't real isn't a real pastry chef. Perhaps she had some other intention. It's possible that she didn't go into the room to study desserts. So then. Are you saying Miss Delicious is the criminal? We can't say that for sure yet. But I know she's hiding something from us. Seems like it. Investigation complete! Ah, it's still not even a full bar though. Ah, jeez. Latch enough. Investigating. Hmm. We found much more than I expected. And yet something from before still bothers me. 
Prosecutor Von Kara must have found the murder weapon in this room. So then, why did he let the Licia be? Firstly, I must ascertain Miss Von Karma's true motives. Detective Bad, I would like to ask Prosecutor Von Karma something. I've also got business with him. And Alicia there, too. He wasn't the guy, Jim Bad. He don't glare him like that. It seems Detective Bad also has his doubts about Alicia and Von Karma. Alicia, will you come with us for a moment? Yes, that's fine, Woodward. We have to find Von Karma. There are some things we need to talk about. Good lord, you know, I kind of just realized she is freaking short. Like, look at how short she is. My goodness. December 24th, 8.05 p.m. Contest venue, Fountain Patio. I have arrived. I will now yell at you. <laughs> Prosecutor Von Karma, we need to talk about the case. How about no? Talk to yourself. Tisk tisk tisk. From the look on your face, I assume you found the murder weapon. Yes. We discovered the murder weapon in Alicia's room. It would seem Mr. Master isn't the only suspect in this case. Bah! That's not true. Where the murder weapon was found does not change the fact that Master is the culprit. As long as I am here. Why is Von Karma so sure of himself? Well then, aren't you going to explain? Why the murder weapon was in Delicia's room? Hmm. <laughs> Naturally. If you wish to know, I'll tell you. Oh gosh, we're gonna face off against him in a, in a testimony. Uh, about the murder weapon. In order to pin the crime on Delicia, Master used the rock salt lamp to kill the victim. He then deposited the murder weapon in Delicia's room. If he had left the murder weapon at the crime scene, Master would have been the one suspected. He couldn't move the body, but it was easy to move the murder weapon. Ergo, there would be no evidence pointing to a specific culprit at the crime scene. Mr. Master took the rock salt lap. Precisely. I carried out the investigation myself. There can be no room for doubt. Do you have evidence that he moved it? Hmm. That will not be necessary. What? Tisk, tisk, tisk. If you have an objection, say it. Do you think a mere defense attorney can break my logic? Oh, you don't have the you don't have the first idea, Mr. Von Karma. Rebuttal about the murder weapon. In order to pin the crime on Delicia, Master used the rock salt lamp to kill the victim. Oh yeah. Are you sure about that? Hmm. I don't know. I have a feeling you're lying to me, Mr. Von Karma. You might be like, "Whoa, holy cow! I'm wrong." Woo. Can't believe it. Ooh. Heard it. He took the rock salt lamp from Delicia's room. Exactly. In order to kill Dover, he had prepared the murder weapon beforehand. But the murder weapon was found in Delicia's room. Doesn't that place, sus place suspicion on Delicia too? Hmm. I'm not finished. Master killed Dover. He then deposited a murder weapon in Alicia's room. So the murder weapon was the rock salt lamp hidden inside the candy castle. Hmm. I discovered the murder weapon when I entered the castle. Be thankful, defense attorney, that you too came by this information. Why was it necessary for you to enter the castle? Ah, maybe he's interested in candy castles. Why you? Do you think I went in there because I wanted to? The detectives at the scene were useless, so I had to investigate myself. I wasn't in charge of the initial investigation. Detective Bad joined the investigation halfway through. Bah! A certain work ethic is required if you were to gain my trust. This is a flagrant waste of time. I'll continue. If he had left the murder weapon at the crime scene, 
Master would have been the one suspected. Wouldn't the body left behind in this, his room also be cause for suspicion? Moreover, I have a favorite saying. I'd like to share it with you. OBJECTION! Even dogs can wait. Wait until I've finished. That's exactly what I'd like to say to you. Oh, shoot. Smack talk! He couldn't move the body, but it was easy to move the murder weapon. Are you saying that Mr. Master removed the murder weapon and hid the body in the chest? He, he believed that if he hid it inside his own work, it would not be discovered. The evil so savory! Don't you mean, so sorry? She shows no sign of remorse. He moved the murder weapon and left the body at the scene. Ergo, there would be no evidence pointing to a specific culprit at the crime scene. How can you conclude that Mr. Master is a killer without any evidence? Tisk, tisk, tisk. You think that will shake me? You disappoint me. As long as the body was found in Master's room, he's the prime suspect. Objection. Is there really no evidence pointing to anyone else at the crime scene? Surely there's room for further investigation. Insolent attorney. Another investigation is not necessary. Master must be the killer. If you think differently, cease these pointless words and speak with evidence. Think back to the crime scene. Mr. Master isn't the killer. There must have been something there incriminating someone else. It seems Von Karma won't be shaken easily. I'll just have to present evidence that contradicts his reasoning. I think I have an idea. Use the box on him because he was a positive weapon in Lisey's room. If he had left the murder weapon at the crime scene, Master would have been the one suspected. He couldn't move the body, but it was easy to move the murder weapon. Ergo, there would be no evidence pointing at to a specific culprit at the crime scene. Oh, yeah! Objection. It seems you haven't been introduced to this piece of evidence yet. It's true that the murder weapon and the blood stains disappeared from the vicinity. However, there was still one piece of incriminating evidence left behind. Have a look at this photograph, which was taken when the body was first discovered. This cloth was used to wrap the body. Doesn't it remind you of the fluorescent cloth from Delicia's room? He was fluorescent cloth at the crime scene! Huh. Fluorescent cloth? You! Just what part of this cloth is fluorescent? I guess Von Karma doesn't know about this cloth secret. It looks like a normal cloth at first glance, but if you use this rainbow light device, you can make it glow. Dot 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 dot. How could I have overlooked something so simple? Prosecutor Von Karma seems a little surprised. It's because I didn't know that thing could light up! I don't think it was the cloth's ability to glow that surprised him. Well, you're wrong about that! It surprised me greatly! One sheet of this fluorescent cloth is currently unaccounted for. Now I'd like you to look at, this at the color of this cloth in this photo. Don't you think it looks like the color of the fluorescent cloth before it's been lit up? Hmm. Both the rock salt lamp and the fluorescent cloth originally belonged to Delicia. Wouldn't it be natural to assume that the cloth was used to wrap the body? Dot 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 dot. Prosecutor Von Karma, I believe the present conditions give us much reason to suspect Delicia. Eve! What? Oh, she caught him with her foot? Okay. Oh, great! Do you really suspect me? I don't yet know if you are the culprit, but it is true that you're hiding something, am I right? Who's that? So... You were saying that the murder weapon and the cloth were originally from Delicia's room? Yes. Tisk tisk tisk. What's so funny? 
Just as I expected from you. The murder weapon and the cloth are not from her room. How unfortunate for you. Dot, dot, dot. What does that... What does he mean? Before the contest began, Master noticed her violation of the rules. He confiscated the cloth and the rock salt lamp and kept them in his room for safekeeping. What? The victim was not seen as he stayed locked up in his room after the contest had begun. The only one who could have unlocked the rooms, the locked rooms, was Jeff Master. And the murder weapon, the rock salt lamp, was being kept in Master's room. This should be the decisive evidence in proving Master's guilt. Defense Attorney. You've lost to me before you even had a chance to stand in court. No. What's this? W what? Was all our investigating for nothing? Miss Delicious! Why didn't you tell us about your confiscated items? Well, well, uh, Manny said I'd look suspicious if I did. Prosecutor Von Karma. That's true, you all suspect me, don't you? Dot, dot, dot. Tisk, tisk, tisk. How clumsy of you, defense attorney. Von Karma. So that's why he let us investigate Delicia's room. And in your clumsiness, there's one more thing I need to inform you of. Two sets of fingerprints were found in the murder weapon. Two? Yes, they belong to Jeff Master and Alicia Stones. No other fingerprints were found. Dot 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 dot. After Master killed Dover with the confiscated rock salt lamp. He foolishly concealed the murder weapon bearing his own fingerprints in its owner's room. Tisk tisk. I don't even need to prove my case in court. I have more than enough perfect evidence to prove Master's guilt. Objection. Hold it. I said objection, but hold it works too. I still have some doubts about the fluorescent cloth on Mr. Master's room. Bah! Irrelevant! After disposing of the body, he intended to return it to Delicia's room. <sighs> I don't have enough information to refute Von Karma's reasoning. Tisk tisk tisk. Nothing left to say. If your job is done, leave this place. Th that's I can't give up yet. Hmm. We've wasted enough time as it is. Bad. Take them away. You know, I gotta wonder sometimes, like how many of Von Karma's freaking how many, how many of the people he's prosecuting against, how many of them are actually guilty, and how many of them are not guilty? I have to imagine, like, I don't know why, but I get this, like, weird feeling that Von Karma never resides over a case where the defendant is actually guilty. Like, maybe they're always innocent, and he's just so freaking good that he makes them all look guilty. <laughs> because he cheats and stuff. Like, my goodness, like, how do you even do that? I don't know. What if he does do that, though? Hmm. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? There are still some doubts left in our investigation. Detective Bad. What's the meaning of this? It's not my nature to leave any doubts behind. There is still one piece of evidence that has yet to be identified. Dot 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 dot. That's right. There is still the trace of someone left behind. Bah! Talk about your doubts as much as you want later. But, this, my dear attorney, is none of your business. Objection. No, I also have some doubts about one piece of evidence. It's likely that I had the same doubts Detective Bad has. What? This is the piece of evidence left in Mr. Master's room that is yet to be identified. Uh... This? Yes. <laughs> what? How? We still do not know, know the true nature of this piece of evidence. 
accomplish is not the same doubt I had. Oh? The only thing I question here is you, defense attorney. There can be no unidentified evidence of War Von Karma. It wasn't this. Please wait, I still have some doubts left. This is the piece of evidence left in Mr. Master's room that has yet to be identified. Uh... This? <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't get it. I just don't get it. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, it's not those two. Then what is it? Those are the two things that have the most mystery behind them right now. This? Okay, okay, okay. Somebody left gloved finger marks on one of the Mystery Master's desserts. Dot, 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 dot. These were the killer's finger marks. And it's possible that the killer also didn't leave any fingerprints on the murder weapon. How did you know the state of the crime scene? I gave them permission to investigate. Bad. What possessed you to let a defense attorney into the crime scene? I don't recall you telling me not to let them in. Bah! Such impudence! You'd best remember, Bad. Your salary review depends on me. Gulp. This isn't good for Bad. I'm so glad I have a kind boss like Mr. Edgeworth. Your salary review depends on how you perform here. Wait, what? Hmm. I'm surprised at what a mere attorney like you managed to uncover in such a short time. However, it's possible those finger marks were Master's own doing. Because he always wore gloves while cooking. Protection. Do you have evidence that those finger marks were left by Master? And moreover, there were still a few points of suspicion re surrounding Delicia. Oh, you still haven't given up on that. Oh, great! You still suspect me? I've already apologized for stealing a few points! I don't want to suspect you. However, I can't easily trust those who all who tell lies. You must still be hiding something. Oh, great, you bully! Don't you know the temperature fresh cream must be kept at? You call yourself a dessert chef, but you lack even the most basic knowledge. Oh, I'm sorry for my lack of knowledge! In your case, it's not even about the lack of knowledge. In truth, you don't even know how to make desserts, do you? Defense attorney, that is a bold, bold claim. Of course she knows how to make desserts. Stop trying to force your own reasoning. In a court of law, the evidence tells all. If you say the witness is lying, show it with evidence. We're not in court yet, but very well. This evidence shows that Alicia can't make desserts. Uh, you know, fake desserts. <laughs> I was gonna say, that's not right? Like, no, come on now. The only things that Alicia made were those that broke the rules. The lamp and cloth that broke the rules were being in being held in Master's room. There is no way a witness could have returned them to her room. Objection. Those were not the only fake desserts she made. What? Her desserts may look like something out of a fairy tale at first glance. But in reality, they are nothing but mannequins, decorated with cream. Apart from the cream, they're all fake. Dot dot dot! This is not something one aiming to become the world's greatest pastry chef would do. Is this true, Bad? Yes. My shoes can attest to that. Dot 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 dot. Will that be enough to convince Prosecutor Von Karma? Once he sees what Delicia has done, you'll have no choice but to be convinced. Delicia, the fact that your actions could lead to you being a suspect is no laughing matter. Isn't it time you told us the whole truth? Who are you? 
And why were you trying- Why were you indulging yourself in another contestant's work? Yes, I understand! Oh, do you now? The truth is, I'm not really a dessert chef like I led you to believe! I'm actually a pharmacist! What? A pharmacist? That's a completely different occupation. It's no wonder he couldn't hide a surprise. Why is a pharmacist like you participating in this contest? Well, oh, I just love to eat desserts! I joined because I thought I'd be able to eat some Jeffy's desserts! I never thought I'd end up making it to the finals! Dot 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 dot! How the heck did she make it to the finals? Even Prosecutor Von Karma's at a loss for words. So that's the real reason why you entered the contest? Yes, she has expected Jeffy's desserts were all so good! So, like a lot of finger marks on the picture frame for what you're doing. He ruined my rubber work gloves! Alicia's fingerprints were found in Mr. Master's chocolates. So it is true that she wasn't wearing gloves. Yes, she exactly! You do believe me, Greggy! Is your face stuffed with nothing but desserts? Hey, sorry, Betty! I think it's her belly that's, stuff that's, that's stuffed. Were Master's desserts all that you ate? Actually, no! After the afternoon tea, I also ate Icy's desserts! Ugh! You mean you entered the victim's room? Yes, she did exactly! This room was empty after all! Perhaps the victim was already dead by then. One of my first bite tastes was way too salty, I couldn't eat it! So I ate a delicious star shaped dessert that was nearby! Miss Delicious, you really are a glutton! It is, it is rare to see a woman with this kind of appetite. That's all I did! Cranky, ready, everyone! I'm sorry I caused trouble! Now that you've told us the truth, everything's fine. There's no need to apologize. This doesn't... This does not mean that your testimony is trustworthy. I'll be investigating the victim's room after this. Only then will I decide if your testimony is true. Prosecutor Von Karma, I'd like to go as well. I also need to ascertain whether my reasoning up to until now has been correct. Hmm. I'll let you follow, but I have no intention of letting you investigate. That's enough for me. Is it now? Why is that? December 24th, 9pm, contest venue Dover's room. This... what is the meaning of this? Uh, I don't know. The desserts adorning the victim's room had disappeared without a trace. Was this the true killer's doing? A body that was hidden inside the dessert and a murder weapon that was moved. Further investigation would be required to arrive at the truth of this case. Is that so? To be continued? Oh my gosh! If only this was like two minutes later, we could have ended the episode right here. But, it's a little too late for that, so we're gonna keep on going! Oh my gosh! I can't wait. Hmm. Hmm. What's going on here? Oh, we're back in the present! Holy crud! April 2nd, 10.15 a.m. Zodiac Art Gallery Fountain for Patio. Hmm. Raymond Shields, age 36, uh... Head of the Edgewood Law Offices worked under my father in the IS-7 incident. And then, proof of my p profession, however, I prefer to keep it in my pocket. If I do this now. It's not K, so it's gonna be him this time. His badge's design is said to reflect the relentlessness in the- Aww. Never mind. That's fine. IS-7 incident file against information about the IS-7 incident. Touch the check one for details. Case summary. Prosecutor Manfred Von Karma, Defense Attorney Gregory Edgeworth. Isaac Dover's body was discovered inside a chocolate chest made by Jeffrey Master. The death was due to blunt trauma to the head given by rock salt lamp. Blood was shed. The defendant, Mr. Master, was found guilty of murder and is now currently serving jail time. Ah, oh, so he's still in jail, huh? Interesting. They didn't execute him. Nice! 
Art gallery of pamphlets received at the entrance of the Zodiac Art Gallery. Touch and check one for details. Hmm. Spring Palace, Summer Palace, Winter Palace, Autumn Palace. Fountain Patio Section Room, Recreation Room, Gardens. Opening times 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Man, they were investigating pretty late if it was the same times. Hmm. Associated temperatures, kind of constellations, and stuff. Hmm. Hmm. Wait, that's not right, is it? No, it's, uh, that's definitely not right. Gemini is not in the winter. It's in the it's in the summer. I'm a Gemini. And I'm I'm a June. Well, I guess technically be spring because June first is, is technically spring. But still, I don't know. It should be under either spring or summer. It's not under either. Something's wrong with that. And some of these other ones are also kind of wrong too. Pretty sure. Well, no, I don't know what's up with that. But anyway, though, moving on. On the next exciting episode, everyone. <laughs> You thought I was going to move on right now, didn't you? No, no, no. We're moving on to the next episode because of reasons and stuff like that. So I'll see you all later, everyone. Oh my gosh, we're probably going to be investigating the present now. What the heck's going to happen? I don't know. Why are we going to investigate in the present? Assuming that's what's about to happen. Hmm, I wonder. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. All right, everyone, I'll see you all later. Bye. See you later.